Hi, Internet. This is Jeff Dodgen again with week number two, video number two. And uh, as I said, each week, every Thursday, I'm going to release a video uh, through the at least the first few months of this year. And who knows, maybe if this takes off and other people have other questions for me, uh, maybe I'll end up doing a video every week this year. That'd be interesting. Uh, but that being said, the topic this week is why I love music or what role music has played in my life. Uh, it might sound a little bit cliche, and I'm sure my story won't be much different from other people's stories, maybe even yourself. Uh, but again, I'm going to go ahead and share my story because people have asked me that before, what music maybe means to me. So I'll try to avoid some cliches, but let's be honest, it's probably just going to happen anyways. Why? Uh, why do I love music? Why, why has music become such a big part of my life, maybe more so than others? Uh, again, I don't want to tell you my whole life story, but I can definitely think back to the earliest memories of my mind as a child, and music has always just been a big part of my family's life. I was in the car more with mom, and she would always turn on KJ-103 and just crank the radio up, and we would listen to whatever was hot at the time. And then, of course, a big shift in my life that plays a big role in the songs that I write, um, which is another video for another week, but... Uh, there came a time where my parents divorced, and for whatever reason, my mind just had a very strong uh, pull towards, I want to play guitar. Part of that divorce as well, aside from learning to play the guitar, was um, I spent way more time with dad. What my dad wanted to listen to was what was called uh, classics or oldies, and so uh, things like The Beatles and uh, Blood, Sweat, and Tears and Led Zeppelin. And I remember listening to these songs and going, man, what is this? I don't want to listen to this. I want to I want to hear NSYNC. I want to hear the new stuff. Uh, and I think it was a Blood, Sweat, and Tears song when I was just passively listening to it in the car with my dad that I thought, okay, no, there's, I like this. I like this. Why do I like this? And it was because of the vocals. It was because of the lyrics. It was because of the the talent that these musicians had on their instruments. And so that drew me even further uh, into music. And funny enough, because of mom and dad, I have a respect for both uh, new pop, rock, alternative, punk rock, all that stuff from mom's side, uh, as well as, you know, anything from disco to EDM and dubstep and things like that. And on my dad's side, I have a great respect for classic rock and oldies and things like that and nowhere between the two of them did country music ever make its way in there uh, and so I have a little bit of a disdain for country music again just to slow down the rambling here best I can get my thoughts in order so having a respect for both sides of music and now having a guitar um, music was just an overall big part of my life and as I moved into middle school uh, it was time I had the option to start band, and so I learned to play trumpet, and I seemed to have a knack for it for the most part, and I really enjoyed trumpet, and I found through middle school band that I really, really loved harmony and things coming together. Uh, in seventh and eighth grade, I had a buddy that I typically played duets on our trumpets with, um, and they I just loved how beautiful it sounded when we, we played different notes along to a song, but I also learned that I like creating songs and harmonies and these building blocks that make a song, um, which again, we'll talk about later in, an, in another week in another video. So why do I love music? Uh, I guess what it comes down to is there are emotions that I maybe have that I suppress uh, or maybe there's emotions that I don't or memories I don't realize that I have. And the only way to feel those emotions or to unlock those memories is to either listen to music or to play and sing music. And that's why it's a big part of my life. Uh, and I think it's a big part of a lot of people's lives is not just because music is fun. And it is. It's fun and exciting to uh, to write a song and to hear new songs and that sort of thing. And it kind of gives you a feeling that nothing else can. But I think for a lot of people, uh, just like with dancing as well, it suddenly unlocks uh, the code to these emotions and these memories that you have that you don't bring up very often. And music is able to do that for a lot of people. And uh, I think it does that for me. And that's why I love music so much. Uh, speaking of music. We've got uh, another song today, and so I hope you enjoy this week's song, and I apologize for all my rambling, but uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks. Ain't nobody don't pass me, I'm just so 
fresh or clean Don't you think I'm so sexy I just so fresh or clean Ain't nobody don't pass me Out of my summer, feeling like I know. So if I don't, showtime at the Apollo, but it's the Kiki Shepard. Put a bath and girl in a leopard print. Dead deep in the grass, cooler than pretty Jackson. Said when I'm up, shaking a snowstorm, I throw a room up in the dark room and the AU. You hate to. Anthony needs my cake, you, but you must have me mistaken with those statements that you make, guys. Ain't nobody that don't pass me. I'm just so fresh, so clean. Don't you think I'm so sexy? I'm just so fresh, so clean. Stick, I want your automatic, competitive. 